Lesson 11-1, Integers, and in this lesson you learn to identify name and graph integers. When are you ever going to use this? Knowing about integers can help you express temperatures. Okay, words that we're going to find, uh, we're going to learn in this lesson are integer, positive integer, negative integer, and opposite. Okay, so each March, <clears throat> a dog sled race called the uh, Iditarod is held between Anchorage and Nome, Alaska. During this time of the year, the average daytime high temperature for Anchorage is 34 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the razor, racers and their dogs can face temperatures as low as 30 degrees below zero. So you can write 30 degrees below zero as negative 30. So the numbers 34 and negative 30 are integers. An integer is any number from the set of uh, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, where where the the three dot dots mean continues without end so integers that are greater than zero are called positive integers integers that are less than zero are called negative integers but let me just give you a, a better definition of what an integer is okay an integer is okay integers let me redo that make it thinner so when you say the set of integers okay set of integers is a set of whole numbers and their opposites opposites that's an e including zero so if you can read my handwriting the set of integers is a set of whole numbers and their opposites including zero so this is not really a good definition i suggest you take my definition down Okay, so integers that are greater than zero are called positive integers. Integers that are less than zero are called negative integers. Okay, so your positive integers will be on this part of the number line. Your negative integers will be on this part of the number line. Zero itself is neither positive nor negative, and that's the reason why we include that in our definition. You can show positive and negative numbers on a number line as shown below. Okay. And that is our set of integers. You have negative integers are written with a negative sign. And positive integers can be written with a positive sign or simply uh, without a positive sign. If it doesn't have a positive sign, it is under understood that it is an integer. Sorry, a positive integer. So you can graph integers on a number line by drawing a dot. So... Negative 5 drawn, uh, graphed on a number line is simply uh, you have the number line and dot on top of negative 5. Remember, it's not on, on uh, over the number line or under the number line. It's supposed to be on the number line. Okay? So we want to graph positive 2 on the number line. Again, we have the number line. Simply put a dot over positive 2. So geography, right, an integer to describe, to describe each situation. The Dead Sea is 1,300 feet below sea level. And let's say for a fact that sea level, okay, sea level is R0. So therefore, 1,312 feet below sea level is actually negative 1,312. Okay, Mount Everest is 29,028 feet above sea level. So when you talk about if this is our sea level right here, zero is our sea level, anything below sea level is negative, okay? Anything above sea level <coughs> will be positive, and that's the reason why we have negative 1,312 for the Dead Sea, okay? And for Mount Everest, since it's above sea level, we make it a positive 29,028, or simply 29,028 without the positive sign. Okay, uh, and let's take a look at uh, 
what an opposite is. Each integer has an opposite. And uh, remember the definition that you wrote down. Opposite integers are the same distance from zero in opposite directions on the number line. Zero is considered to be the starting point of our number line. So we want to find the opposite of each integer. So negative four, okay? And if we look at our number line, zero is the starting point. And since we have positive four, sorry, uh, if I said negative four, if I say positive four, right, that means it's four units to the right of our number line. So the opposite of positive four will be four units to the left of our number line, which is negative four. So the opposite of positive four is negative four. And let's take a look at the opposite of negative three. So again, three unit, negative three is three units to the left of our number line. So the opposite of negative three is okay, three units to the right of number line of our number line or positive three. So the opposite of negative three is positive three. Okay, and that's our lesson. Our secret word would be sons. The secret word would be sons. Thank you for watching.